Hi guys, welcome back to Software Tech. Today in this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can add image card carousel like this into your WordPress website using Elementor. You have seen this effect in, on a lot of websites and wanted to add on your own Elementor website, then this tutorial will definitely help you. To add this effect into your site, first you have to log into your dashboard. So let's get over to your dashboard. Now here first of all you have to install a plugin. So go to your plugins and click on add new. Now here in the search bar search unlimited elements. Here you can see the unlimited elements for Elementor add-on plugin. It has more than 100,000 plus active installations. I have already installed and activated it. As soon as you will activate it, it will take you to its settings. So let's go to its settings. In the menu sidebar, you can see the unlimited elements tab. You can click on the widgets to go to its settings. Now here, first of all, I will add a two column section. Now, first of all, go to column settings and in height, fit it to the screen. Now I will go to first column and give it the width of 40%. Now go to your menus. Here first of all I will add heading then I will add a text editor under this text editor I will add a button widget now I will change the content so I will go to first one and add text here see our works now go to style in text color I will give it dark black color now in typography first of all I will change font family to poppins give it the size of 70 pixels and weight to 700 now i will go to text as you can change text but i will leave with the default one just go to style change the color to dark black in typography i will change the family to poppins now i will leave all the settings go to button here first of all i will add change the text now here in next I will add an arrow for this open new tab and search HTML entities. Now scroll down and go to this toptile.com site. Now here at the top you can see the arrows. Click on arrows. Now I want to add this arrow just copy it. And go to your page and paste it here. Now you can see the arrow was pasted here. Now I will go to style. First of all, I will change its background color to transparent. First of all, I will change its border color to transparent. Now I will give it the background color of. I will change its background color to transparent and change the text color to black. Now in the padding, I will give it the padding of 0 pixels. Now I will change its typography. I will give it the font family of Poppins. 18 pixels of size and I will change its weight to 700 pixels now you can see little bit gap here for this I will go back to content and change the icon spacing to 0 now I will add card carousel here so search for card carousel as you can see card carousel widget that comes with the unlimited elements add-on plugin drag it to there now you can see here you have these cards preview it it will appear like that but i will redesign them i will go back to editor first of all you can enable the loop so it will repeat it again i will enable it number of items i will make it two now slide to scroll i will make it one here is the transition the time between the first one and second one to appear here is the margin between the slides you can increase it let's see i will uh, increase it to 60 pixels now you can see the gap between the slides was increased but 30 percent is perfect now you can add stage padding but i will not add any stage padding here auto play hover pause on hover i will enable it Text direction 
you can left them now i will go to layout here in the layouts first of all i will disable these arrows you can also disable these bullets and also add you can disable the image but i will enable it you can also show icon here but this looks little weird i will disable it you can show the i title above or under the content above is perfect now you can show the text show button and show the top direction i will disable the button and only show the text you can also disable the top decoration here you can see a little line over the slides this looks perfect here now i will go to arrows i have disabled the arrow so this will not work for me i will just collapse them you can change the arrow style if you use arrows there now in connected widgets leave them for now just go to items here you can add your title here you can add your description and here you have your image first of all i will change the title i will call it city street now you can change this text and also you can change the image but i will leave it now i will go to second one i will go to second slide and change its name to labor now you can change its content also but i will only change the title of these slides here i will add boat in the river now i will go to fourth one and here i will create it wedding scene now collapse it and you can go to advanced and add some html widget here but i will go to style now here first of all you have the slides settings here is the normal position and here when the slide is active now this slide is active and this was is now in passive mode i will go to normal you can align it to center left or right but center is perfect background color you can change the normal color slides background color but i will leave for the normal color just i will go to active color and i will change the background color of active slide now here you can see when i will change the text the slide color it was changed here now i will select this color and make it little bit transparent now it will appear like that now i will go to top decoration here you can see a line above the slides you can change its color and the width i will make it 75% and the top decoration i will make it 5 now it its height and width was increased now i will go to image here you can add radius to the image i will add 50 now you can see it will appear like that but the default one it will appears look it looks good in the default one you can change the image height like that i think 275 is perfect now you can also change its width like this one i will also 300 there you can also change the image padding i will give it to the right and left side 10 pixels so it will appear much closer to the slides border now here is the icon style but i haven't add any icon so i will collapse it and go to title here you can change the title spacing color and typography first of all you can change the title color and here i will change its typography i will select the font family to poppins make it 18 pixels and i will change its weight to 600 now i will go to text and here i will change you can change the text spacing and color i will make it dark black typography i will make it poppins and also i will change its size to 10 pixels you can change its weight transform it to upper case or lower case and change the line height and word spacing now here is the arrow button settings but i haven't add button so it will not work for me navigation arrow i will also disable i have also disabled the navigation arrows and here is the nav bullets you can see bullets under these slides here first of all you can 
change the dots these dots size i will make it 10 pixels so it will appear as a little bit bigger now here is the dot color in the default position and in the active color for the default one i will make it little bit dark like that i will make it lighter so it will appear like that and here is the active color you can select any color for the active one dot spacing you can increase the spacing from dot to slides i will make it 5 here is the dot space between the two dots 5 is perfect you can align them to left or right but center is perfect now i am done for this just i will update the page and preview how it looks on the live site to preview it on the live site click on this i button now here you can see you have these slides it will auto play like that and when you hover over it the auto play will stop you can drag them like that now i will add some fade in animation to its loading time so i will go to elementor go to advanced here in motion effects i will make it fade in now update it now i will preview the changes now you can see the cool fade in animation now i will make them responsive for the all devices so to make it responsive go back to your elementor editor here you can see the responsive mode click on it go to tablet and here you can see it will appear like that on tablet i will go to content and here you can see i have selected tablet you can change it to 2 or 1 for any separate devices here i will make it 2 now you can drag the size of the screen and it will appear like that on different screens now i will go to mobile device now it will appear like that on the mobile device let's preview it now it will appear like that you can drag it on touch update the page and preview it again now you can see it will appear like that now it was also responsive that's how you can create postcard carousel into your wordpress page hope you learned something new in this tutorial if so please like this video and also share with others don't forget to subscribe our channel and also press bell icon to get notifications about future updates thanks for watching